Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be doing this beautiful burgundy makeup look. And we're going to be doing that with the Huda Beauty's Obsession Palette. And this is it right here. And don't mind the next few clips because it's going to be my cute little dog. And I just wanted to show him off to you guys. And yes, I know he needs a haircut. But let's just forget about that for a minute and appreciate how cute he is. Anyways, we're going to be going right in with the eyes. And we're going to be putting conceal it all over unless you like primer um i don't know what you guys like but i just use concealer so yeah that's what i'm gonna be using and then i'm gonna go in straight with this little pinky shade from the palette it's like the lighter reddish shade and i'm just gonna be taking that all over my eyelid in the inner corners as well and the same for the other eye of course that don't forget to blend out those colors and then I'm gonna be taking the deeper burgundy shade and I'm gonna be deepening up my whole eyelid as well with that and I'm gonna mostly concentrate that on the inner and outer corner but mostly all over but you guys will see and I just want it more intense on the outer and inner corner and of course you want to go and blend that out as always So this makeup look is basically, I think it's called like a spotlight makeup look. I'm not sure what you guys would refer it as, but I know it as a spotlight makeup look. So yeah, we just want to deepen up the inner and outer corner for this look. So I'm going to be taking some spray and my little brush here. And then I'm going to be going in with that sparkly burgundy shade. And I'm going to put it all over the center of my lid. And last minute, I did decide I wanted to bring it into the inner corner. I don't know why. I just decided instead of a spotlight look, I just wanted to bring it all the way in. So I'm sorry, guys, for the confusion. Maybe I'll do a spotlight makeup look in a different video. Give this video a thumbs up if you want me to do a fall-inspired spotlight makeup look because I can definitely do that for you guys. So after I apply that beautiful cranberry sparkly color, I'm going to go in with the color next to it. It's like a really pretty shimmery color and it's a little bit lighter so I'm putting that right in the center because I want the light to be in the center. <laughs> I mean, I just want it to be lighter there. So yeah, I'm placing it there. Then I'm going in with the Heavy Metals Urban Decay Liner and I'm going to place that as well on the center of my eyelid. And this is the cat catwalk. I, I think that's what it's called. I'm pretty sure it is. It's just the pinky shade. But then um, after that, we're going to be going straight and curling our lashes and applying mascara. I'm not going to be doing any liner for this. I'm just going to be going in with my lashes afterwards. So we don't have to worry about any kind of liner. I'm going to be going in with these Jenny 69 Batty B Lashes in the style Instaho. And I think these are super, super pretty. I love Jenny 69's lashes. Honestly, I need to buy more of these because they are so pretty. Just make sure when you do this, guys, put the lashes as close as you can to your lash line because if not, it's going to be looking pretty off. And as you can see, I already cleaned up under my eyes and I'm going in with my NARS foundation. I am in this shade. Uh, I'm pretty sure it's cannoli. But if not, I will list it underneath for you guys so you guys can know. And sorry if you hear a whole bunch of noise. My husband's bringing my dog from outside, so... Sorry guys. Anyways, now I use the Too Faced um, 
multi-use I think it's called the concealer and it's pretty good honestly I kind of like it better than the chic tape I feel like it's a lot nicer under my eyes After I blend out my concealer, I'm going to be going in with the Derma Blend um, Loose Setting Powder. And I really like this. I I heard about this from I Love Sarai and ever since I have loved this powder. It's so finely milled and it's so nice. Um, I'm then going in with the same two um, reddish shades and the, the matte ones. Okay, the two matte reddish shades and I'm going to be putting that underneath my eyes. And I forgot to mention to you guys that this palette is so good. Like these these new Huda Beauty palettes, these little palettes are so good. You guys should get your hands on them. They're perfect for anybody who's not used to wearing a lot of makeup. And if you travel, you can just throw these in your bag. They're super tiny and they have really great colors. Like I just want to get them all honestly because when I travel, I do not want to be bringing a big ass palette with me. So... Yeah, I just wanted to let you guys know about that. And of course, you know, I'm already contouring and all that good stuff that you've seen me do a million times. And I'm using the same products because I have not changed my contour and highlight in a long time. Which I know I need to, guys. I'm sorry. I know I need to. I need to try new products for you guys. Let me know what products you think I should try if you have favorite highlights if you have favorite blushes comment down below don't be shy i will listen to you guys suggestions if they're about makeup you know i would really like to hear from you guys and your input it'll be really really nice to interact with you guys so just comment down below so of course i'm highlighting the hell out of my face and then i'm also using this artist couture Illuminati powder highlight and I'm gonna be highlighting with that as well because I want to be shining today guys like I really want to shine I really want you to see me from outer space so this is why I'm highlighting everywhere with this I just want it to be very intense for this video like I just want it to show for my lips I'm gonna be lining them with my makeup forever 6c lip pencil which is like a very pretty brown color which is it's pretty dark and i'm then using the um anastasia sepia sepia something like that um liquid lipstick over that so this is what i'm doing right now just lining my lips And this sepia color is very like a very cool toned lip color which is exactly what I wanted for this fall makeup look I wanted it to be very cranberry with a really cool toned lip I think this is paired perfectly with this makeup look I really really love how it came out like I'm obsessed with this makeup look you guys you guys should definitely try it and of course you want to go in with mascara on your lower lashes because that's what makes the entire look as well. And this is the final look you guys. All I have to do is my ugly hair but I'll be right back. So now that I have straightened my hair this is the final look you guys. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And until next time, bye guys.